what's up y'all what's up what's up what's up y'all this weather this weather got us confused out here like right now y'all know the transition y'all already know the transition i'm really like trying to be like brie okay you really you really got you a lot of fall clothes last year so you might be good on the clothes you, you ain't got to do a whole like last year i feel like i did a whole like wardrobe <laughs> I feel like I did a whole darn wardrobe last year. So maybe this year I'll just get like five new outfits. Because I really got a lot of fall clothes. But it's still like right now, y'all see, I have on no sleeves. Today's supposed to be a half 83. I'm trying, I got some stuff in the shopping cart for the boys on Old Navy Gap. You know, it's like the same site. Um,. Target, like some Oshkosh jeans. Where else I was looking at y'all? Oh, I started looking on Carter's. I'm looking for them some cute camo pants. Like they got the ones that they uh, be wearing. But first of all, Wealth this week when he had his on the other day, he got a hole in the knee part of them. So I'm, I know they got them from Carter's last year when they got them. So I'm trying to find the same ones seen some on Target that was real cute or maybe that was Gap. It was one of those sites that was real cute but they was out of stock literally on all but one of their sizes. I can't remember. So yeah, they was real cute though. They was like more so like the style of mine. Um, but yeah, so I'm starting there shopping. I need to start checking out because well i don't think it's gonna be like on the news they're saying like right now we this week we're getting a taste of fall with the cooler mornings but it ain't stuck yet this ain't it yet for the summer weather so we supposedly so things supposed to get back warm yeah next week yeah like this week is in the 80s but then next week we're gonna be right back in the 90s but so it's not official we just gonna taste of it this week but that's when the weather and it, it be so bipolar like today i could have put on long sleeves like yesterday i had a long sleeve but the morning was cool it was in the 50s yesterday yesterday morning so i was like shuffling on some sleeves today it was 60 something in the morning so i was like i don't really need to have on for today anyways y'all it's about that time like I told y'all last year, my favorite season definitely transitioned from summer to fall. <laughs> now that I'm grown, I like fall. Like, baby, the boots, like, I'm here for it all. I'm here for the boots. <laughs> here for the boots and the fall colors. Here for you. So I'm actually, um, and I just get my hair, but I'm not. So I'm not in the rush to change it, but and we're not going to um, Texas until like a full month from now. So we, I have not to be in traffic, and I'm trying to be to work early. What the heck is going on here? They should have said it's on the news. I've been watching the news all morning, and I ain't said nobody gonna be traffic like this. It's 18. I just I was trying to be to work at 8:20 at the latest. I was gonna be there before 8:20. And now, for whatever reason, traffic is traffic, traffic. People is turning around over here on the side to get off the highway. What is happening? Ain't nobody got time for this. Let me look at my GPS, honey. Like, I should've only got breakfast for all this because now I'm finna be hungry. <laughs> I'm finna be hungry because it's traffic. Dang it, man. Uh, I hate traffic, y'all. I hate traffic because, for one, it's traffic. And now, wherever I was going, I'm not going to be there as soon as I wanted to be. And for two, I feel like people be looking at you a lot. Like, you can't even just be in the car looking at, listening to your music in peace. Because the person next to you, all in your darn car. I like the traffic to keep flowing. So folks won't be all in my business. People still be in your business, but they can't be in your business for long because traffic is moving. But when traffic is trafficking, they just like, damn, can I turn up in peace? 
<laughs> Can I turn up in peace? Let me see if this is gonna break off before I get to work. This thing is like 22 minutes to get to work. I literally work like six minutes away. And it's like 22 minutes. I might need to hop off. But I gotta get all the way off. I'm in the far left line. If I need to get off at the next, it's gotta get all the far right. And it ain't, it's a whole bunch of 18 wheelers in that last two lines. <sighs> what do I wanna do? Oh, now the helicopter coming around. I'm gonna tell, this, tell the news that it's traffic. Now the helicopter up there riding around the scene. Literally, my sister been on the news all morning. Anyway, I was saying, I'm over here, like, on Kayla Nick. Not on Kayla Nick. I'm on her books, Nick. Waiting for her October calendar to open. Kayla is always, every October, I don't know if she's made it to, not, to any other boys' party. Because her sister's birthday is around the same time I know as, I think, like, Wealths and Fortunes. So, and my friend Kayla and her family, they are super close, like me and my family is. But they stay taking a trip or something, okay? They stay going somewhere for any occasion. They is out of here. So, I know um, her sister stay in a different state. I think she stay in, I stay in Texas. But, um... Yeah, they always going somewhere. So I'm trying to make sure her books are going to be open. That she's going to have an available spot for your girl. I already hit her up. She already know. But I'm trying to give me some more micro links. One, I need to see where my hair is. I mean, I'm thinking about getting new hair because I want her to um I think I might keep the black hair that I had earlier this year. Yeah, I know. I love those micro links. But I think I want some color this time. It's October. I'm not ready. I don't know if I'm ready to do my um ginger copper color yet. Well, it's September right now. But when I get the micro links, that's the only thing. When I have my micro links, I could wear those for easily a month and a half. Like they lasted me so long earlier this year. So maybe I'll just wear them for a month. But I do want some um highlights in it. So I'm trying to make sure I go ahead and get my appointment booked. I'm gonna get my appointment booked with my girl for I'm thinking I'm gonna do the weekend. Everybody always wanna call me. Hello. Good morning, daughter. Good morning. Alright, y'all. I am back. Um when the ambulance is coming up behind us. That means whatever it is, it's still right there. They might not have no help on the scene yet. I wonder, is this the best lane to be in? The ambulance is coming up this lane, but he definitely a mile away. So, he need to get on the side and ride it up. Cause him being, he's in traffic too. He's riding in the lane with the cars. He's in traffic with traffic. But he gonna have to push it to the side when um he get up here cause he ain't got nowhere to go. But yeah, I wanna um get my micro links again. I'm gonna get some new hair, I guess, cause I want I want some dark hair and I did she can highlight that hair. I'm trying to see should I go brown should I dye my hair brown because I kind of want brown and blonde but I guess black and blonde I'll be cute too I got some blonde highlights it blends we gotta still keep it pushing here he come he coming he coming he coming so much debris over there. I ain't trying to get over there. I, you got better tires than me ambulance. And somebody gonna replace your tires. It's so many. So much shrubbery and just tires. Pop tires and stuff all over here. I ain't even trying to um... Yeah, I ain't even 
keep going, but we don't got nowhere to go. But we ain't got nowhere to go. The most we can do is slant to the side like we're doing. But we ain't gonna start no new accident about it. You can go around me. And who this car is think they finna try to ride the wave? He been riding behind the ambulance the whole way up, y'all. The whole way up he's done this. Unless it's his people's who's in the accident, but this man really, like, since I've seen him, I've seen him back there. It is so much mess over here. Oh my gosh. Somebody need to come clean stuff up. Where is the community service people? That car is still running away. I'm gonna see if he stopped with the, with the accident to see if that's his folks. But yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all. I might have listened to some music to get me through the rest of this commute to work. And I will just talk to you guys later on, okay? I found them. You found them? Okay. Might as well get two, right? Yeah. Two or three. Which ones is it? 15.4 ounce that one, that one, that one, that one, boxes. That one, that one, mommy. Hmm? That one. Yeah, I'm trying to see. We need to get two boxes, though, because y'all go through these that so quick. Me. That's oh, that's just the honey that. note? Honey nuts? Mommy. Huh? Mommy. Where, baby? Right here. Okay, pull it now. A lot of food in there. <laughs> right. Hold on, Puda. Is this the size we need? This is the size I usually get, but we trying to get the buy one and get one free. Maybe it's just cereal. This like cereal. Maybe it's only on Cheerios. Hey, Marsha gang. Hey, Marsha gang. I got my back. Well, me and sister, you need to get your butt down. I got back. Why are you standing up? Truth, you're hurting me. Truth, why are you hurting him? You need to fix your legs so he can sit down. Not this here. Sit, close your legs, True. No. Who are you talking to? Scoot over some. My sister say no. Yeah, Truth and he is not yeah, down. Want what? What's up, y'all? So it is much later. It's like a little bit after ten. I'm about to get go to sleep. I've been super tired, really, like all week. Yeah, really, like all week. I've been pretty tired. I know I haven't talked to y'all much today, but it ain't been nothing much going on, y'all. Um, I mean, I've been working. I was working earlier, of course, at work. Turned another audit in. Ooh, ooh. Go for it. Clearly, I'm back in work mode. Um, what else I did today, y'all? Once I got off, oh, yeah, I, I did vlog for a half second while we was in public. I thought the boys up. They needed some more cereal. So we went by Publix and got there. And I was going to cook something tonight. I was going to look for something in Publix to cook. But y'all, I go to Kyle Fortune. Look at my watch. Like I'm looking at my purse, digging my purse for my phone. Can't find it. Looking at my, I looked at my watch and saw that it was not in network with the watch. So that meant I left it in the car. So and then I was just happy. I was ready to get out of the store at that point anyway. I was just already ready to get out of the store. So we ended up eating Chick Fil A tonight. Um. Yeah, I've been chilling. My mom and dad. And well, my parents, yeah, they finally booked their flight to Houston. Um, and they went ahead and just booked the same flight we we're going to be on. First, they was trying to find other flights and stuff. I'm like, just book the flights. So they booked their flight. So that is good. Um, I need to now find us a car. I'm trying to see what kind of car. Uh, be accommodating for all of us the only thing I kind of need to figure out is if Tiffany is going to be coming down um, I know she well Fortune was telling her about it and she stays in Texas she doesn't she stays in San Antonio I believe um, 
but since we were gonna come all the way that way she was gonna book a flight and come meet us out there um so i just need to check on that because if that happens and we're trying to get around it's kind of gonna be impossible i don't know what kind of car at all we will have um <laughs> with eight people like oh we got eight people anyway with nine people like i don't think there's no vehicle other than like a sprinter van and i don't i don't think we're trying to rent a sprinter van <laughs> so yeah that's the only thing but it's still like i know i was looking i was looking on toro yeah i know um i booked our car for miami when we was in miami for a couple trip and i used toro and i really like that service they just had like dropped that left the car at the airport for us gave us told us exactly where it was parked and we just kind of went to i don't know if every person um would do it like that easy and when we literally just parked the car when we returned it i told her i sent her a picture told her where it was at show me where to put the key at and we we're on our way and it was just so easy the prices were really affordable so i'm thinking when we went then it was eight of us because it was four couples and I think we had a Suburban. I'm trying to recall. I'm going to have to look back on my tour row receipt thing to see in my order history. But I think we had a Suburban. And we was tight in there, but we still fit. We will be bringing the boys booster seats. We won't be bringing their big car seats. We'll be just bringing boosters. So, I'm thinking if it's just like us eight. Fortune and my daddy can sit in the front. And then me, me, my mama, and Bryce can sit in the middle. And the boys can sit on the third row. But a lot of the cars I know I was looking at um, that even had third rows were like, um, had the bucket seats. So we can't do nothing with the bucket seats. We gotta have three full rows. So I'm about to go on my phone and probably just play around and look on there until I fall asleep um also today I ordered the boys fall clothes so they will be good I ordered from Sheen Old Navy slash Gap Carter's and I ordered them some jeans and stuff from Target the Cat and Jack brand they have some cute little jeans on Target so I spent a good amount of money on them. I ain't gonna lie, I did have to pay on Sheen and on Carter's. <laughs> Cause on Carter's, I really just bought pajamas. Like all their fall pajamas. Cause y'all yeah, know they be wearing like the little short sets now. So I bought like all their fall pajamas with the pants and stuff. Some of them are short sleeve, some of them are long sleeve. But they probably have about nine, eight or nine sets of pajamas I bought. And then I bought some more. I reordered them pants that I thought I was going to order. The camos and some more of the khaki ones. I upped them a size in that. And yeah. So I bought that stuff. I, yeah, anyway, y'all. So I ordered them all that fall clothes. Yeah, I know when we was in Mexico. We bought them quite a bit of stuff from Zara and from H&M there. They had, like here in Zara and H&M, we literally like can't really find their sizes like that you can't really find their sizes because it's like really popular you know everybody want to have their kids in like the trendy clothes you know, i already know it's hard shopping for boys it's not really hard for me it's not hard i like shopping for boys honey if i have a daughter i'm gonna really love shopping for her but um we found some cool stuff like clearly in mexico where we was at nobody is the in the kids because they had all these sizes <laughs> i was like we feel like we gotta get this because we cannot find this stuff at home or on the website like when i try to look on the website for them stuff be out of stock so we definitely got them some nice key pieces out of those stores so my babies are pretty set for fall like i said i ordered a variety of pants sheen total was like 500 something dollars so i can't recall everything that i got but Clearly, it was a good bit of stuff. But yeah, I did the um, Klarna with them because I was like, I don't feel like giving y'all 500 some dollars right now. I am like, I need to stop doing it so much. I'm like, I mean, it doesn't. 
I feel like, do it help with your credit? Let me know. Does clearing stuff help build your credit? Because I've been getting reports from Credit Karma saying I've been doing great and stuff. And I'm just like, on what? Like, my credit, like, it's like, you're, they keep trying to approve me for my money, but stuff. And I'm just like, what am I doing differently? Like, I've been paying my bills. <laughs> My credit card bill. I've been paying my credit card bill. Like I've, been my, I've been paying my bill. So, like, is that what's improving it? Because I have, like, right now, probably, like, what I told you. I think the first time I did it was that fried chicken ice cream that we still haven't finished. <laughs> and then, like, I know I did it on Sheen, like, twice. Yeah, I usually buy my stuff on Sheen. But I think I did. I ordered something. Hmm. And then I did the song. And so I just told you I hate doing those things. And now it's like. <sighs> but now I'm finna go on vacation. It's finna be an expensive month for me. In October. October is finna be around the corner. Like. And I'm finna be on vacation. I'm still trying to figure out a boy's birthday situation. Hopefully that vlog hasn't came out yet. When I asked y'all about it. I think it comes out tomorrow. So hopefully y'all give me some suggestions. I'm trying to figure out, think of the best cost efficient way to do it. Cause at Boomerang, I still spend like a thousand dollars, I think. So if I do it at home, it's like I don't have to pay for a venue, but I still gotta pay for entertainment and food and decorations. So it's like, what's gonna come out cheaper? It might be cheaper at home though, cause I could just rent a jumper. But I want to rent like a couple jumpers, cause that's gonna be the main entertainment, and some we're gonna have like games and stuff if I do that. And it's gonna be like a Halloween party. I'm kind of leaning towards at home. It's gonna be on a Sunday, cause I'm gonna do it on the boy's birthday, and the only reason I'm doing it on a Sunday, on their actual birthday, is because Brighton's birthday is actually that Saturday. His birthday on the 29th and the twins birthday is on the 30th. So I don't want to like step out on his birthday. I've been asking Nico what she plan on doing for his birthday. But she ain't really said nothing. But I know since his birthday is on a Saturday. If she do do something for him. She's going to do it on his birthday on a Saturday. And then we can't plan two different things on the same day. Like <laughs> we're counting on each other to be at each other's stuff. Okay. Um. And yeah, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much all that's been going on. I've been working on a couple other things. But that's pretty much all I've been doing today, y'all. Working, came home, hung with the family, of course. Submitted all those orders. Yeah. Yep, yeah. So I'm finna go ahead and wrap it up for tonight i'm going to pick this vlog back up tomorrow on friday i'm so glad tomorrow's friday and i'm so glad we don't have any real plans this weekend like sometimes those are the best times when you don't have any for sure for sure plans and it's like my grandma went to boys tomorrow so they're going over there after school so me and daddy just gonna get to hang out and love on each other <laughs> Oh yeah, I also found a um Fortune had told me about Kaya. He was over there, I told y'all the other day. And um he was like, She was just wait till you he was telling her, just wait till you have a second kid. Your house is not gonna be this clean. And she was like, I got a cleaning lady that comes every other week to my house. He was like, Oh, and her prices was really good, y'all. So my cleaning girl, I've been hearing her up and she hasn't had any availability. Um in a minute, like a minute, when I hear up in like last month, she was gonna have availability no time soon, like over a month out, and I was like, <sighs> so um, I hit Kai, I asked Kai for her girl number today, and she gave it to me, and she got back to me this evening, and we talked, we were texting, and then we talked, and she seems really cool. Um, when she's older, she stays literally around the corner for me. And she works on, she can do it during the week in the evening. Like, granted, I like having the boys 
not here when she cleaned. Well, I mean, when I get my house clean. But she said she can come at like 5.45. I think we booked it for Tuesday at 5.45, y'all. And guess how much she charged? She's just going to charge me $80. I'm going to have her ass in here bi-weekly too. And it's like, what? $80? Yeah, we can schedule me for every two weeks. I'm going to have to stay spotless, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. That's pretty much what's been going on today. I've been doing stuff, but I just haven't picked the camera up. It's actually been my purse. It's why I'm downstairs right now because I was like, where's my camera? I haven't tied my game, like, literally all day for real. And I usually charge my battery up at night, so that's why I came and even got y'all. So I just wanted to chat, wrap it up for the night, and I will just talk to you guys in the morning. What's up and happy Friday to some of my favorite people in the world. What's up, gang? Marshall gang? Marshall gang? In my sincere voice. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It is Friday. Um, At work, as you all can see, it is oops, 8.33. I've been here for a minute. I already made my coffee. Yeah, a little outfit of the day. I know on Fridays, I keep it super cool, super casual. <sighs> yeah, I know my favorites right now. And I got like three pair of cargo pants, y'all. Three pair of camo, four pair of camos, okay? So I don't be having on the same ones. I know I wore camos already this week to the wild and out thing, but they were different, okay? They were not the same pair. But this is my outfit today. I know I had this shirt for years now, since like 2020 maybe. But just a good mom with a hood playlist, yeah. With a pair of camos on, and I threw my jacket on. I ain't wear these in a minute. I've had these for so long, so so long. And yeah, that's how we rocking. I slept with my hair like this. I don't know why I didn't do nothing to it this morning. Should I take this out? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of chilling. Kind of chilling. I might take it out later. But anywho, I just wanted to come check in with you guys this morning and say what's up to the gang. About to get started on my work day. Although I went to sleep at a fairly decent time last night, I am still very much tired. But like really, I had a dream woke me up at like maybe four something, five something. Did somebody was gonna break in my house? And I had to go grab the tool right quick. And, but I woke up right before I shot him. It was just a dream. But I had I was like, oh, so I didn't even see who it was. Ain't that annoying? I need to see if there's some snakes in the garden, honey. Because I need to see. I need to know. Anyway, I'm tired. So I had one that made me some coffee. Um, in one of my comments the other day, well, in my comments the other day, I did see where someone had said to try sweet and low. And my grandma used to use it. My great grandma, she used to use it back in the day. I'm sure she still uses it instead of sugar in her coffee. So this morning, I remembered we have like all the sugars here. We have like Splenda, sweet and low, regular sugar, brown, the sugar in the raw. Like we got all that kind of sugar. I just usually use regular sugar, but she said, sis, stop using regular sugar. It just goes to your stomach. Try to use some sweet and low. So I put that in here today. I haven't tasted it yet, so I'm about to do that really quick and see if I taste a difference. Okay, let's see. Mm. Mm. I do taste a little difference, but it's not a bad difference. Like, I can definitely still do that. Yeah. How many am I supposed to put in there? I still put three three packs of sweet and low in there. <laughs> was that so much? Yeah, it wasn't bad, y'all. It's not bad. I like it. So good. Whatever we can do to get rid of the pooch. Okay. Hey boy, y'all know. It's gonna take a time to suck for that. It gonna just take a time to suck. That was gonna have to happen. But I learned to not dwell on it. <laughs> so yeah, y'all. Let me get my day started. Got my good old 
MacBook here. I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing up. Cute little picture of me on now. Put it on my stand. The stand is super clutch. This is the stand. Put it up there. And use my little cord here. Use my little cord here. Connect them bad boys. Wake up. Wake up. There we go. And now we have two strings like that. But we're gonna get busy. We're gonna get groovy this Friday. Get some work done. Be productive. And I just holla at y'all later on, okay? Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so sorry. I remember. I gave it to my editor blog. I'll be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I still have not gave her her shout out. So y'all yeah, remember. These are the nails that I got from Stay Pressed on Nails. Um yes these are lovely these are lovely i want to try not to shout you out because i am a um, brand ambassador for tt nails but baby i'm gonna give credit when it's due i'm gonna give credit when it's due and i'm gonna always support anybody who's supporting me so yes y'all these are from stay pressed on nails I showed y'all these nails before. I've had them on all weekend. Here's my editor blog. I'm like, I still ain't told, I still ain't told them about my nails. So yeah, y'all. Get into them. Get into them. They are really cute. I love them so much. I love them so much. She did an amazing job. And remember y'all, she's only 14. Wait. Hats off to you, girl. I'm gonna get your flowers like you here. You did amazing. Keep it up, baby. Keep up the good work. You going big places. Because you is the sh I'm sorry. I can't say that. You is doing the... You are doing the darn thing. <laughs> you doing it. So, yeah. I'll talk to y'all later. What's up, y'all? Just wanted to come in and check in. The boys, y'all know, the other day they had... Um, were those little outfits that I said was going to be airport fits. Which it still could be. They are just already worn them. But they did come from Walmart. I showed y'all when I first had got them. And, and when it was feeling like a little fallish. I was like, yeah, I'll put these on today. And y'all, I had just posted their picture on Instagram. On their page. Mainly because I took pictures. And I always take pictures of them. But I haven't posted pictures of them on a page in a while. So, I posted their little pictures. Disregard the green line, y'all. Still, <laughs> but I was just like, it's been a while, but we are doing great, happy, healthy, and silly as ever. By the way, we love our outfits that our mom picked up from Walmart. I tag Walmart in it, they are the perfect transition into fall. And then I went over to our personal page, my page, the Marshall's Party at Five page. If you're not following the boys, by the way, go follow them. Their Instagram is Three Little Marshalls. But yeah, anyways, then I went over to my page and posted on my story as I usually always do when I post a picture of them so that they can get some love too. But um, I had posted, shared their post on my page, on my story and said, go show my boys some love and tag Walmart while at it. They need to start making some coins, okay? So, you know, it's only been, I posted that 30 minutes ago. It's only been 30 minutes ago. <laughs> but... Like I said, I tagged Walmart in the post, and then y'all always coming through for your girl. Y'all did just that. There's only seven comments on here. Um, literally only seven comments. But we got TT Nails. She said, at Walmart, these adorable boys should be in your next ad campaign. And she also tagged um, Garnimals and Carters. And then I got somebody else. Why is it showing? Why is it? It's blocking her message. <laughs> Dang, hold on, get off of here. Oh, so then we got Nina Grace 29 who said at Walmart. We got Shiny Bear who added Walmart as well. We got K Kia. <laughs> Lot 35, she said Walmart. 
Styles by K Marie One. She coming in some heart eyes, a heart, and some fire emoji. Mm -mm -mm. We got Lady Tay underscore One who said at Walmart, check out the three little Marshalls. Okay, just it's just Kia. She's at it Walmart. She flies. She fly flew too cute at walmart and then underscore 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 bria said three little marshals my favorite little boys thank you all so so much for coming up to the page like i said it's only been up for 39 minutes now on their page but thank y'all for coming over to walmart because baby it worked okay so i also um messaged walmart well i shared the post with walmart I shared the post with Walmart as well and I said feature us we love these fits and with the help of you all going over to tag Walmart as well we got the attention okay they they just you know they just said thanks for reaching out to us about working with us we'll share your interest with our team and reach back if any opportunities to collaborate come up have a good day <laughs> nothing is promised but that's a start okay and i just said oh my gosh thank you for responding that would be great these three would be a perfect these three would be perfect brand ambassadors for walmart walmart is our happy place i should have tagged them in the whole family page they all of us they all of us get a deal with walmart but yeah no i just want to thank y'all i said i don't know nothing's guaranteed or anything but i'm about to start putting them kids to work okay not just playing i'm about to start again we all gonna work on our brand deals more i actually the other night went and got on my computer i checked the marshall's party of five email address where i um asked for business inquiries to go and i had so many emails you guys and i started reaching back i got a um i actually got a product at home right now that i need to um film for this weekend because you know they sent us something and they offering a little something and so i need to just add that i need to um film that clip this weekend and talk about it and actually try the product out i'm actually excited about it but we had a lot of emails i've been really reaching out well not i've been like just responding to the emails that we got and i'm gonna also put myself out there more like because that's you know that's what it's about it's about growing so we're gonna keep trying to grow this thing to grow this channel um grow these pockets <laughs> and get some of these brand deals y'all because like we really we really can do it like we really can do it like i feel like our face as a family is pretty strong um like i feel like you know we really like sleep family goals you know we family goals <laughs> so yeah i'm definitely gonna start working on that like we definitely gonna get in there for real for real so I just wanted to come on there because that was really exciting for Walmart to actually notice and respond back. So thank y'all, everybody who um, I just named. That's why I wanted to shout y'all out with y'all comments because y'all helped us out to get recognized by Walmart. So thank y'all. All right, you guys. I'm chicken back in from the office. <laughs> I didn't leave out today to go get lunch because yesterday I actually did go to Tropical. I don't think I vlogged that. Like I said, I didn't vlog much yesterday. But I did go to get tropical for lunch and I got my sampler because that's my new favorite thing because I can eat it two times. So, yep, this is the sampler again. This is my leftovers, y'all. My leftovers. I got some jerk chicken here, some oxtails here, some curry chicken here, some steamed cabbage here, and yellow rice. Here we are from a top angle. Looks great. Um, but y'all know, I told y'all that I'm tapping into, now that we are back from Cancun, it's time to get ready for Houston. And we only have, ugh, my phone, y'all, it's getting on my nerves. We only have like a month, but less than a month before it's time for us to go. So now I'm just getting my family all on the same page. I've realized, I realized it a while ago, like sometimes it's sometimes stressful, but I do enjoy planning things. I don't know, like for John was asking me, like, what else you think you want to tap into? Like, what else you think other income you want to have going? Um, and I'm trying to figure out what other things am I interested in? Like, of course I do work, I do YouTube, um, I make shirts from time to time. Um, but I'm like, what else do I enjoy to, what else do I enjoy doing? Who's that with him? 
what else do I enjoy doing? And I do know, like I said, sometimes stressful, but I do enjoy planning things. And it's just like a part of me, like I am naturally like somebody who just put shit together. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, and I plan my wedding, I plan my baby showers, all my kids' birthdays, like I trips that we've been on, like I put shit together. That's just me, that's the role I play. Um, I kind of like having control over things like that um, because, and I don't think I'm a perfectionist or anything, I just know how I kind of want things to go and like I never really thought of myself as like a planner but Brick, that's what you do. You do that shit. You do it pretty well. Like, I've never really had a like a travel agent. Maybe like once. When me and Fortune went to LA, I had a travel agent, but like I could have. I mean, they probably got better a better deal for us. But essentially, I could have did that. <laughs> like it wasn't nothing. Like we didn't book any excursions or anything. Like we literally just had flight and hotel. So for that, I could have definitely did that. But like when we went to Cancun just now, like. I pretty much I got in network with somebody but um who helped us put stuff together but essentially I did all the leg work um well I didn't say all the leg work like I said I had my girl Isis doing leg work for me in Mexico but still I'm the point of contact I'm the one who communicating with her but yeah now it's time for Houston and now that my parents have booked their flights um to go I did just go ahead and start us a group chat and I named it oh, that freaking line and I did go ahead and name it Houston trip and it has my dad fortune my brother and my mom in it um and I got up a cute little picture that I had really created really quick on Canva and put it as our thing like I created it in like two minutes I went to Google found the image of Houston put some words saved it boom that's our trip that's our picture but um but yeah so i just like i said started the trip really quickly i mean started we had some messages already in this group but whatever i just started the new group okay so i'm just in here putting like this the trip is coming quick let's get excited i'll be sending all details here and then i'm just going in and like sending all the details that everybody would need so that nobody would be lost and we can all be communicating in one spot granted i talk to these people every day <laughs> I talk to my parents every day I talk to fortune every day clearly but just so if anybody has any question about anything they don't have to ask me or you know everything i'm trying to think of everything that we need and it'll be here so i sent in the link for the house it is a link that they can click on and go directly there yesterday we was on the phone and on facetime and we was looking at it together so we already kind of picked the rooms um that we'll be staying in well yeah for the most part we already kind of picked the rooms that we'll be staying in um put the flight information because we do have the same flight um so i put the flight information i told them like i recommend them down like downloading the spirit app there's the flight information for the departure and then of course i'll update it for the um when we depart houston but we'll all be together at that point so it doesn't really matter and then i told them i'm looking for an suv for the trip i'll be sending links to what you I'll be sending links to see what y'all think. I'm going through Toro, but if you have any other suggestions, I'm open to hear it. And I just went into Toro. I favorited some of my favorite SUVs that I think would fit us best. And I sent them all of those links. As y'all see, it is quite a bit. And then I also, um, when it found the weather, I did like a 28 day weather forecast type thing um, for Houston and I went ahead and sent the weather over as well. So now also I'm going to start finding restaurants. I'm, I'll be referring to, um, like I told y'all already, that vlog probably went out today. Yeah, I think that vlog went out today. Birthday plans and yeah, we went to water now. So I think that vlog went out today. So I would definitely be checking my comments to see what you all suggest for things for us to do in Houston. I, re I reached out to the verbal host and asked um, 
her of any recommendations that she might know um because we're traveling with kids so anything that she might suggest she sent me some places so i'm gonna go in and pull some places i'm gonna try to get us a little itinerary together not super strict itinerary but because we're kind of just on vacation and chilling and i don't want to be like mm -mm 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 -mm. We won't got a jam packet because we do like downtime. We want to enjoy the house some and all that good stuff. But I want to know what day we're doing is, what day we're doing is, what day we're, we're going to be there. We're getting there like three something on Thursday. So I definitely still want to find something to do on Thursday. I want to find something to do on Friday. And I want to find us a couple of things to do on Saturday. And we leave Sunday morning. So, Yeah maybe something for dinner on thursday something fun on friday something fun on saturday also i want to um find somewhere for us to go i told Bryce last night he's probably gonna be on babysitting duty on saturday night because that is fortune's actual birthday and i told y'all that yesterday or the day before, whatever day i told y'all that i want to find something fun for us to do as the adults go out whatever whatever turn up a little bit so yeah I want to find, if y'all know of any clubs and everything, anything like that, that'll be fun. I'm going to be looking on TikTok for cool brunch vibes or, you know, different stuff. Like, I said in Atlanta, so we have a lot of stuff to do in Atlanta. And I've heard Houston is very similar to Atlanta, so I'm going to be looking for all those vibes that we are looking for. But, yeah. I realize, like, I like, play, like, somebody going on a trip with me, unless it's somebody else's trip, I'm not gonna take control. Like, if it's somebody else's birthday trip or whatever kind of trip, and I'm just a guest, I'm just gonna show up and pay my money and be a good guest. <laughs> you know, it could be a, a good guest and a bad guest. All guests ain't good guests. Everybody don't want to pay their money on time. We got we got deposits by these certain dates. Please pay the deposits by these certain dates. That's the part that comes becomes stressful. For the planner okay but yeah hey, uh, it makes me excited doing these kind of things and I'm gonna like start tapping into the boys birthday party so I'm also about to check the comments for that too to see what um suggestions y'all got while I eat my food I want my food up it's kind of, it was hot so that's why I'm kind of tired y'all but let me eat now because it done cool down I tell y'all we are home we're about to get ready to leave actually I just um we came home, I got the boys back, a bag together to go over their grandma's house. Yes, yes, yes. They finna go hang out with grandma. And me and daddy, I don't know what we're really finna get into tonight. I know. Huh? Grab the bag while you over there. Grab the bag. Grab the bag. Mommy. Mm -hmm. And then go. Why you just laid up like that, bro? Hey. Hey. What's that? What? I'm chilling. Why waiting on y'all? We waiting on you. Look at that, mommy. Well, Come on. I'm pretty sure that's not the right bag. You're not that bad, baby. True, get off my leg. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's not we my mommy. Keep going. Other way. That's not we my mommy. I'm leaving. I ain't leaving your mom. No, never. Leaving. Get strong, well. Get strong, well. Get strong, well. He ain't get strong. <laughs> oh, he, he just, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my drink, man. Let me show you how it's done. Got it. Metropolitan. You threw it up noon. We want to see all of these lip colors. Yeah. I'm hiding. Oh, man. She was hiding. She told them she was going to be hiding from there when she came over and she was hiding from there. They found her instantly. <laughs> What's this, Grandma? Jump. What are these? You bought that one? No, I made it. What? what the mom? material was, 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 it was, it was a shower. What are these, Mommy? Oh, yeah, see? What are these, Mommy? For girls, for Mommy. That is cute. Please take it. You're not gonna wear it? Uh -uh. It's sure. too dressy. <laughs> sure. Look at this. I'm like, I'm like you bought this one? Guess what the top is. The top is Figure it out. It's feeling like... Ooh. 
Huh? I was finna, I'm like, it feels familiar, <laughs> like some kind of clothing. Yeah, we gotta go pick up the food. Tell your mama bye. Bye, mommy. You want they boots to see? the shoes. He be quick taking shoes. I was gonna see getting somebody house. You not going with me? You going, you gonna stay with Pop? Okay then, put your shoes back on. I knew that out. I'm gonna put my shoe back on. Uh, so they use the sponge on your hair? Fortune, I don't know. Did he use the sponge on your head? This Can you stop? Damn, my lips stick up. Um, it would be something cool to pick up, but, but my ass. I don't know when. I did Auntie Margaret's hair last night. How you doing here? Your hair cute. That's cute. You like my hair? Mine crochet too. I like it, I like it but turn around. I like it too. It's long. It's 30 inches. I like your hair too. Thank you, baby. It's too long. I like, oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. What what do you call this? Uh, the pants. That's the passion twist. Yeah, I'm like, let's love it. It's funny. This just black said, and oh, yeah, thicker. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You got like the mini one. I, I don't know if they're the mini ones. But they I got, want them shorter than this. Oh, they had, I did some, I saw some cute like red color ones. ones. I saw some cute like red color. Um, like the burgundy red. Okay, uh, you gotta pay for pizza. I like you. I will. I did you order it? I like you all. <laughs> and. All right, you guys, me and Zaddy dropped them kids off and we just pulled up over here at Metro West. We've been seeing it all over Instagram. I don't know because we follow them now and they post a lot. They're always seeing them on Instagram so much, but. Well, you follow them, hell, I just seen <laughs> Was I following them or did you go follow them? Have we heard about it? Told you. You told he you always say real. I'm following, who you talking to? Yeah, talk. he be Come talking on. crazy. Like he's crazy. <laughs> Talking shit. You be talking shit. Not the camera. Come on, boy. He was just in a car talking about how much he loved me and how and how and how he's it's it's been so easy to love me all these years. Is that not what you were just saying in the car? For the sake of your vlog, baby, that happens just oh, like that. Oh, I should have been vlogging. Yeah, you probably should have been. So Cause you tripping. Cause you tripping. tripping. Metro wish I did open Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. Oh, I love you. There's the menu up there. Hello. Okay, y'all. I gotta make this quick. Fortune went there to get the food, but I've been telling him my stomach been hurting. Y'all, I got. For I've been had this for a minute. Oh, let me hear it. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm so nervous because I've heard it smell so bad. Oh, this smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know which is gonna be so bad. Yeah, I'm gonna be mad. I went to go get the food. I've been like waiting for like a good time. Y'all yeah, know Fortune got a foul mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we are there now. We just been in the car having a great talk about relationships and everything. So, if we get in here and kiss it, just know this shit stinks, okay? I haven't sprayed it yet. But just know. Y'all already know he got a potty mouth. I'm giving a disclaimer for him already. But this is the one. I ordered this off of Amazon. I feel like he's seen it in my purse one day. Because I had it in a purse. And it was in my purse for a minute. But I ordered this off Amazon and it said very C C M I honey, I don't know. Just the box though. And I had another prank that I was gonna do with it. I had another prank in mind that I was gonna do with it. But that prank, I just didn't know how it was going to work out. I ain't going to tell it because I don't know. 
I don't know how, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. Dang, the fruit. I should have waited till I saw them give him in the bag to come and reach out. But I wanted to make sure I had time to tell y'all what I was gonna do. Okay, give him the receipt now. I'm like, what the fuck? Hell nah, that shit is thinking. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, he giving it to him. Okay, y'all. I'm finna spray it. I'm so nervous. I don't even want to OD on it because we're finna put our food in here and I want my food to be stank. It's just a spray bottle, though. He coming. He coming. What are we gonna add like we talking about? Like you shit yourself. <laughs> He's still talking. I wonder how long he stay in the car. He's still talking. He got the food. He's coming out the door, but he's still just talking. Oh yeah, this thing's so bad. What the fuck you shit on yourself? <laughs> Oh, my stomach just hurt so bad. I'm legit finna throw up though. I'm gonna let one of them. I'm talking to some good footage I need to be talking. He's talking to the owner. Oh my god, now I'm sitting here stuck with the damn shit spill. Hopefully he's telling him the customer service was a 10. From the um, guy in the front. God, it smells so bad. Like, it smells like Nasty. It smells like nasty. Look at him and he's just running his mouth. <laughs> he just ate the dog running his mouth. Oh shit, he coming y'all, he coming. Gotta touch it up or cook. Oh hell no! <laughs> you nasty! You are so nasty! Are you? Is this like a spray? My you stomach not, hurt. Did you boop on yourself? <laughs> are you serious? I told Brit. you my stomach hurt. Brit. Brit. Are you? You got a spray? This a prank. I told you my Where stomach spray hurt. Some of the spray. Some of the spray. Cause I there's no fucking way. Cause that is diarrhea on you. I don't believe that. That's a joke. Cause you trying to play a prank on me. This is a YouTube. This is a content video. Cause I there is no way possible that you, you just sat here and shitted on yourself with your I old ass. I, I, I know you did. I smell it. You smell fucking terrible. That's ridiculous, Brit. You too old for that. I feel too yeah. my stomach been hurting. Yeah. Uh -uh. uh -uh. Stop. Days. Just stop. Cause that ain't even funny. I think I only need some tissue. Why don't you air this shit out? Like you need to motherfucking get some air freshener here now. Cause you just sprayed that nasty ass nice shit in here. <laughs> now I made no damn sense. It's too got man. You gotta be ashamed of yourself and spray this thing. I'm trying to finna go eat my damn food. You didn't turn my damn stomach over like that. Daddy. You nigga ready to throw up in here, man. I know. I had let the window down. That's not funny, dog. I let the like, window that's down. That's not funny. I had let the window down. Shut up. <laughs> shit ain't funny. Don't make no sense you just spray that damn spray in here like that. I told you, what, you, what spray? You can spray some shit spray in here. Where the hell I'm gonna get shit spray from? I don't know where your old ass ordered some shit spray from, but you sprayed some shit spray in here. I told you my stomach I ain't no way in here. 
I ain't no way in the fuck. I just tasted that shit. That's ridiculous. You are nasty as fuck, dog. That is not funny. That is this so is not mean. a funny prank. I don't give a damn. What you mean is me? I'm the one got to deal with it. Me too. Ain't nobody think about me. I let the window down before in the you car. came out. Before you came to the car. Man, Rick, go on. Cause you trying to be on some YouTube shit. I man. let the Get window down. But the bus still running. Now maybe. Well, you about to catch that motherfucker because you finna get your ass out there call me. Can you turn the windows up? I, <laughs> I was trying to talk to the gang. I'm about to edit all this out. Don't edit it. Don't tell me the truth. Look, shit, shit. Cause that's ridiculous, bro. You are. Right. This is not funny. This is not a funny joke. And you know I'm finna eat my food. Why would you do that? That is not a funny prank. Yeah, it is mean. You ain't even trying to get me to the bathroom. We're going home. What are you talking about? You need some tissue though. Chris, uh, <laughs> I ain't finna play that little stupid game with your stinky stuff. I'm gonna sit here and spray that shit in here. Oh my god. Oh, I know that's some shit spray because there's no way somebody is out here selling diary in the bottle. That is so there, nasty. There is no. Uh, you did? Why would somebody sell that? It's a spray. That's what you got. You gotta be a shit spray. There's no way. That is diarrhea. That is that, is that is that is that is like that I is rock. I should have been driving so I can lock the window. You lock the windows down. You never want to drive. Remember? You remember that? That's true. Just like you had the windows locked up. Cause that's ridiculous. <laughs> that don't make no damn sense. Morocco be Morocco stomach hurt and he be doing that in the room and then wake you nigga up out they sleep. That's you right now. Disgusting. Okay, it's gone now. Is it? I don't smell nothing no more. It ain't gone. That that ain't gone. That's still on you. You need no, to take I a bath. I didn't shard. It was half dead. Nah, that's shard. That's a shard. I know shit and I smell <laughs> shit. That's shit. <laughs> that's shit. I got four kids. That is shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I got some air freshening. You ain't getting nothing for that. You ain't getting none. I'm going to take a shower. No, you can let some shit like that. I'll fuck up with that. Surf okay, it's called a surf and turf, but what it is, it's ribeye and salmon. I mean, I'm on Instagram, so I already know it look good. Can't wait to bite that thing. I told you. I told you that was a part of the agreement. That was a part of the agreement. I got a plate. Oh, this is a big old shrimp. I got the, I don't know what the meal called, because he said he made it up, right? <laughs> but it's, so they got a salmon and shrimp, I think, on them. But this, everything fried, and it got the, um, what's it called? Hennessy Henny, Hennessy, Henny Honey or something like that. I'm just going to get me tipsy. You want to taste It look good, y'all. Look good. So I ain't gonna cap the prices. They say you pay for the quality, okay? <laughs> they say you're paying for the quality. Like his fillet, they say, yeah, this fillet is not no steak umps. This is real ribeye. And I seen the videos that I'm doing it. It's real ribeye. What does it say like that? It's the one. Let me see if it's the one. Can I bring my plate too so you can get some whatever you want? Sweet potato soup plate? She trying to sell that shit. Yeah, I know, man, I know yeah, you want some of this. Yeah, that cheese. I don't even have no damn filler. Yeah, that's what he was there for. But he said another like 30 minutes. Hey, we could have waited on <laughs> If we knew he was going to tell us our food was going to take 20 some minutes. It wouldn't even matter. I'm going to take my food. 
I ain't need me out of here. That shit saved me sitting home long. You saved me six hundred dollars. <laughs> nah, so I think for our food, y'all, it was like sixty six. It was like sixty six dollars. So it ain't cheap. What the fork said? I need all that. Come on with it. You only gave me one fork. You, you want a little plate? I didn't need that in that. Just put it on the side. <clears throat> yeah. Plate. You smell right? It's all right. I might fry me a salad. Yeah, that sounds good. I might be one of my dishes next week. You got some salmon, yeah. I just want to bite. You want some broccoli? Mm -hmm. You need to bite this piece of You know, you getting that fresh and bite some of these <laughs> gone head on. <laughs> Try to play all right. That good. Who had that good ass sweet when we was in Augusta? Where? They had that sweet potato souffle at that spot where we went to Goosebys. Oh, yeah. Man. They did have a good sweet potato souffle. Was it one like kind of creamy or something? Hmm. Was it kind of creamy? It's crunchy. Wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Somebody had it and it was like good, man. Hey, that was good. I'll good. That sandwich good. It was twenty dollars, but it's good. And this is your fries with them. All right, let me see what it tastes like. Salmon. Mm. I taste the Hennessy. Taste that. Mix with the Casamigo. Uh, why put it in? Mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to wipe your butt. If you got. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Let me hear that spray. What spray? Man, you gotta have some, some boo boo spray. No, all right. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's such an insult. That's not that bad. That's not that bad, is it? I've known you for a long time. Like, you never in your life let it be nothing like that, bro. <laughs> it was backed up. Not with that man. For days. Oh, why is it lingering so long? I thought it was going to be gone by the time you can't see the car. And I can't take that shit back. <laughs> Look at this shrimp. Enjoy my meal, but service 10, food 10. Hey, it's like I said, it's pricey. I want to see about that. It's pricey, but they only open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I mean, of course, we're just talking around in the car. Those are the days you're more inclined to spend more money on dinner. Yeah, it's kind of pricey, but like you. Trying to do something like your anniversary or something. <laughs> Not for your anniversary. Birthday. It's pickup food. It's pick. Oh, I bet little baby spent a lot of money. Mm-hmm. 
Lil Baby, if y'all don't, um, he's, I don't know if Lil Baby posted it. He probably did. I don't know where I see it. Maybe I seen it on Metro West page. But his um oldest son, his birthday party was just like this past weekend. And they got that food truck to come to the birthday party. So I know that was lit. They had some good food at the birthday party. Man, what? But if it costs us $60, $66 for two meals, Lil Baby had dropped a thousand, I mean, over a thousand dollars. I'm one of the people that Baby. we didn't want no Lego land Baby. parties, but we're gonna buy twenty five people. No thousand dollars, shit, nothing. Nigga and girl, you for ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't be in a No. If we do a full check by party, whoever, what's the point of you hear this? Don't charge yeah, us that much. Out. Don't charge us that much. <laughs> yeah, <get out. laughs> but nah, I would definitely recommend go on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The only days you can go, by the way. Um, you said they open up at three. Yeah, see about that. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it, y'all. Don't take the kids. Because you're going to spend unnecessary money. And Get Sodom and McDonald's. They ain't got nothing for your kids over there. Because I think the Philly might have been the cheapest thing. But he did get a steak in the. Um, it's cheaper Philly than this, though. Yeah. If you could probably just got just salmon. I think like, I just, even if you're getting a steak, it's like $13 or something. So yeah. Yeah. If your kids want a salmon filly or a steak filly, you know. But I recommend it. And babe does too, right? You stamped it. So. What's your on the phone embarrassing me, y'all? She telling my mama about my past kids. Oh, my stomach hurts. She on the phone cracking up. He's embarrassing me, so I'm a personal business. I haven't told him yet, so I want to do it again. But I'm a little scared because we in the house. And I don't want him stuck in my house. At least in a car, the window can blow. The window can be down. <laughs> Now my stomach really do still hurt. So I'm gonna go use the bathroom and I'm gonna spray a little bit in the bathroom. A little bit. Hey, what I'm gonna do one squirt. Why you whisper back? Because you're talking about me. Your wife gonna tell you about it later on. I can't talk about it no more. Right now, tell you. I'm gonna tell you about it later. Everybody. Everybody, man. I'm living. I got back in the car. I said, Dad, you got a virus. I thought you weren't talking about it no more. I gotta go, y'all. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. He, he is so embarrassing, y'all. He tell the vlog. Why you tell my personal business to everybody? Because it's not even real. What do you mean? I, bro, I know you, dog. I'm talking here right now. How long I knew you? I How long you. I knew you? Mm. What that mean? I know you playing with me. What do you mean? I thought I literally be hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm finna go use the bathroom. You made what? Come on. They're gonna, they gonna tell it right there, cause boy, you get close to that thing, you smell like what you had going on that car just then. I'm wrong, I admit it. <laughs>